It was the first warm night of the spring. It was nearly 70 degrees as it was getting dark. I came to Ridgeside Lake. When I got there, it was a little light and the bats were out. And then just about 8.15, two toads started calling. As it got darker, as it got later, more and more toads joined the chorus. I started this project by studying Fowler's toads and their breeding cycle. So every year when this time of year rolls around, that first warm night of spring, it's really hard to stay away. It's fully dark and we're just about into a full-throated chorus. The toads were coming down to the pond and um, at least six or seven went right by me, you know, and they were scattered all around the pond, maybe more where I was than elsewhere, but it wasn't the first place. So they seemed to come off the hill. So I got to watch them. I mean, that might be a female. It's not calling. The moon was out. It was beautiful. While the whole chorus was in, in session, I got some pictures of individual toads. Watch them call. Then I went over to the rainwater pool. The pool is empty. It's been so dry. I didn't know there'd be any toads around or not. Anyways, I found one on the stone staircase. It wasn't calling. I didn't hear any calls. I didn't see any other toads around. But it's early, and if it rains, that place will become a place of action. Mm -hmm.